गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज आस मोहम्मद खान फ्रॉम एस के एम पब्लिक स्कूल स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डबल सर्कुलेशन ये स्टूडेंट ऑल द ह्यूमन्स हैव द डबल सर्कुलेशन फॉर दिस दे हैव द स्पेशल हर्ट एंड अबाउट द हर्ट आई हैव टोट यू डेट अवर हर्ट इज फोर चैम्बर ऑर्गन मीन्स इन दिस देर आर द फोर चैम्बर एंड दोज फोर चैम्बर्स आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर विद द हेल्प ऑफ वाल्स एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए थिक वाल डेट इज नोन एज सेप्टम सो देर आर द फोर चैम्बर आर फाउंड इन आवर हार्ट फर्स्ट इज राइट आरटीएम सेकेंड इज लेफ्ट आरटीएम थर्ड इज राइट वेंट्रिकल फोर्थ इज लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल सो देर आर द फोर चैम्बर आर फाउंड इन आवर हार्ट and these chambers are separated from each other from septum student septum septum is a thick muscular wall that separate the chamber from each other in this student there are the big artery is connected with our heart that is known as aorta and aorta is divided into arteries like this there is one big vein is also attached with our heart that is known as vena cava vena cava and vena cava is divided into vein student and with the heart there are pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery are also connected and these vein means like the pulmonary vein is connected with the lungs and it carries oxygenated blood student oxygenated blood and pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood now our heart works as a pumping station in this the blood is pumped student and in the pumping of the blood blood goes through the heart twice during each cycle means blood goes through twice in each cycle each heart cycle student and that circulation is known as double circulation so this is the double circulation diagram student and you will learn it now we come on the double circulation why do we need the double circulation student because we have the high energy demand to do, do the different function means there are the different functions are performed in our body and all those functions have high energy demand and that high energy demand is fulfilled with the help of double circulation and in this there are the four chamber of the heart helps in this student me means they prevent the mixing of the blood means oxygenated and deoxygenated blood flows in our heart separately it is not mixed up like in some living organism like the feces there are only two chambered heart is found student and in this the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is mixed up why student because the feces come in the cold blooded animals and they have the less energy demand due to which they can easily tolerate with one circulatory system student or one circulation but we can't tolerate because we have the high energy demand like the verti some reptiles and amphibians means rem reptiles and amphibian that come in the vertebrates but they have the three chambered heart because they can also tolerate the mixing student means they have the three chambered heart feces and feces have the two chambered reptiles and amphibian have the three chambered heart because they can tolerate the mixing of the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood blood student because they have the less energy demand if we compare it by mammal student like us so it is about the double circulation in this what happens student first pulmonary vein supply the oxygenated blood to the heart from here 
from air pulmonary veins supply the oxygenated blood from air it is pumped towards the aorta aorta supply it into the different organs today from the organs again the blood is supplied to the vena cava to the vena cava student means there are the two vena cavas are found in our body superior vena cava and inferior vena cava superior vena cava supplies impure blood of upper part and inferior vena cava supplies impure blood of lower part so that blood comes to the vena cava and from the vena cava it comes to the right rtm student and from the right rtm it come to the right ventricle and with the help of pulmonary artery it comes again to the lungs so in this way the double circulation is completed in our heart and in this the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood mixing is prevented to fill, fulfill the high energy demand of mammal student so it is the importance of double circulation and it is the most important topic student you will learn it and you will also learn about the chamber of the heart that which animal have we how many type like the birds and the mammals have four chambered heart reptile and amphibian have the three chambered heart fishes have the two chambered heart in this in the reptiles the crocodile student crocodile is the exception because it has the four chambered heart like us so you will learn about it and you will also do it in your notebook now student we come on the next topic that is heart beat now what is heart beat student heart beat means the process of contraction and relaxation of heart means the process in which heart is contracted or relaxed that process is known as heart beat student and we can know about it or we can observe it with the help of one medical device that is known as stethoscope generally you observe student doctor have one device in their neck and that particular device that medical device is known as stethoscope stethoscope is used to measure the heart beat student and what is our normal heart beat means when we are in rest at the time of the rest we have the heart beat around 72 minutes per minute means 72 times per minute heart beat we have and it is measured by stethoscope and our heart beat may decrease or increase due to the infection student many time when we have the infection or we have the injury due to that our heart beat may increase or decrease student and what is the range of it it is 72 to 80 time per minute according to the age of the person now there is one cycle student that cycle maintain the heart beat and that cycle is known as cardiac cycle student and the functioning of the heart can be observed with the help of one technique student and that technique is known as echocardiography and in short we say it ecg now we come on the next our heart is contracted student and when our heart is contracted then that contraction is known as systole student systole and when our heart is relaxed then that relaxation is known as diastole student and systolic and diastolic pressure together is known as blood pressure 
it maintains our blood pressure student now what is the blood pressure the proper definition that you will learn the pressure of the blood on the wall of auricle or rtm is known as blood pressure and the blood pressure is again measured with the help of the two devices student first is stethoscope second is sphygmomanometer sphygmomanometer is the device from which we can measure the blood pressure of a person now what is the normal blood pressure student normal blood pressure of a person is 120 mmhg to 80 mmhg student in this this 120 is in indicating systolic pressure and this 80 is indicating diastolic pressure and in the systolic pressure is always high student and why is it high because in this our heart is contracted and due to the contraction of the heart the more blood is supplied in our blood vessels or in the auricle of the heart from which we have the high pressure and that high pressure is known as systolic pressure student and when we have the diastole at that time our heart is relaxed and due to that relaxation our blood have the low pressure and what is it student it is 80 mm hg now if we have less than this blood pressure then that particular blood pressure is known as low blood pressure student and that disease is known as hypotension if we have more than 120 to 80 mm hg blood pressure then that disease is known as high blood pressure or hypo hypertension student that disease is known as hypertension how can we regulate the blood pressure student by taking the balanced diet we can regulate the blood pressure or by doing the regular exercise means by taking balanced diet and by doing the regular exercise we can maintain our blood pressure student because nowadays the people are facing the problem of blood pressure due to malnutrition or due to the lack of exercise that's why you should care of your health you should take the balanced diet and with this you should also do the exercise so it is about the heartbeat and blood pressure student now this topic you will also write in your notebook thank you very much and have a pleasant day